So then, the Champions League group stages, Manchester City, Bayern Munich and Benfica. I suspect we might be able to beat Benfica. Today, we are going to be playing Man City and probably going to be playing Benfica as well. We're going to have a couple of league games as well in between. And uh, yeah, I can't see the Champions League going particularly well for us. And likewise for our Swiss counterparts, they might have an easier time, but it is certainly not going to be easy. Arsenal, RB Leipzig and Villarreal for our Basel opponents. It's, I mean, Europe's going to be tough, isn't it? For the first few seasons, Europe is going to be very tough. Let's get battered by Man City. So then, my plan for Manchester City is we're going to gag and press Pep. We're going we're gonna to gag and press Man City. We're going all out attack. Essentially is what we're going to try and do. That team is frightening. They've got Erling Haaland up front, obviously, and he's, he's good at football. Also, Bayern beat Benfica by the looks of it 1-0, or at least by one goal. So, yeah, suspect we might be bottom of the group after one game. 20 minutes in, and the first chance is possibly going City's way. Nasberg heads that ball clear for us. Hand controls it. Has no support at the moment, but the North Korean can go off towards that left-hand side. Keeps hold of the ball. Are we actually going to have a chance here? This is not what I was expecting. No, we're not. We've lost the ball. Rodrigo can clear it upfield, but it's coming back. Toma to Bernard. Now Sene across to Schmid. On the ground to Han, and Han's blaze that wide. We should be 1-0 up. Similar position for the starting second highlight, although first one was a corner, wasn't it? Ravella with the ball. Rodrigo plays it all the way backwards to Ruben Neves. Ball forward. It's Schmid. Very clever from Schmid there. Hamza Raffia back to Schmid. Gets it down the line. Finds Sene with a yellow card is a worry. After 20-odd minutes, he managed to pick that one up. Bernardo Silva on the right-hand side. On the ground, Cancelo. Trying to find space to get the cross away. Ravella again with the ball for City. Being pressured. Keeping hold of it, though. Rodrigo with a long-range effort. And that almost found its way into the top corner. But it has gone over. It is still nil-nil. And we've got a third highlight now. Hamza Raffia. Back to Bernard, lumps it forward, tries to find Montiel and can't manage to get anywhere near him. I think Montiel's not the biggest of people either, so it was a strange pass to try and do. Is that Andy Robertson playing for uh, for Man City as well? Ruben Neves to Ravella, now Rodrigo, Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland. First time we've seen him, plays through Robertson, and the former Liverpool man can go down that left-hand side, holds up play. Back to De Bruyne, back even further to Rodrigo. De Bruyne gets it back. Rodrigo clearly did not want that ball, did he? Right-hand side. City are good. I don't know whether you're aware of this, but Man City are a very good football team. Erling Haaland with a leaping-headed effort goes over the bar. Still nil-nil. Ravella with a corner. 37 minutes on the clock, and Haaland this time hits the top of the bar, and it goes over. If we can get a nil-nil draw here, that would be amazing. I'm fully aware there is 50 minutes left of football to play. Nasberg has the ball for us. Bernard. Forward to Han, loses out, but Rafia collects it. He's gone forward towards Sene on the left, two in the box, holds up play, plays on the ground, Bernard's in on goal, and we have taken the lead, and Antoine Bernard is the man to do it. Oh my word, we're beating Man City. Do we shut up shop? This is the question, do we shut up shop, or do we just keep going? I mean, it's, it's not that it is working, it's just the fact that Man City isn't working. They are getting close, but not actually getting many shots on target. We've got the ball as well through Montiel, tries to find Han and can't manage it. Aragoni apparently should be brought off. Haaland's chested that down in the penalty area. Gone for a dink over the goalkeeper and it's hit the bar. It is still 1-0 at half-time in Switzerland. We are beating Manchester City and Aragoni definitely needs to be coming off. I don't know whether we do. Do we shut up shop? We do have a park the bus formation and we are somewhat familiar with it. We are going to have to do a change. I think we're going to go for Romagna because we're parking the bus. I've decided we're parking the bus. We kind of have to do that. We can push Raffia into the box to box. Montiel and Sene are just going to have to play there, unfortunately. That's that's all we're going to do at half time. We are shutting up shop. Seven minutes into the second half and a corner for City. And Ruben Diaz makes it 1-0. 1-0? 1-1 even. I mean, the shutting up shop clearly didn't work, did it? And another corner for City minutes later, and it's a penalty. What are we doing? You know what? Whilst he's going to check that, we're going back. We are going back to what we know, and I need to rearrange, which I think is basically just that, isn't it? There we go. We're going back to the Gagan press. It's clearly not working. If they score from this, we've gone from 1-0 up to 2-1 down in the space of 10 minutes. It is a penalty. 
Gelmi's a good keeper, though. We know Gelmi can save penalties. He's done it in the past. It's going to be Erling Haaland to step up. Left-footed penalty sends Gelmi the wrong way. And it is 2-1 to Manchester City. And they're acting like they've just won the cup. And two minutes after their second goal... Could it be goal number three? I mean, the floodgates have opened, haven't they? Haaland's in on goal. Is it going to be three? It is three. It's game over, everybody. We took the lead. If if you played, if you stopped at 45 minutes, admittedly it wouldn't be football. But if you did, we would have won this game. At this point, I don't really know what we can do. We're 3-1 down. We are. We just don't have the sub options. Defensively, we are playing very poor. Going forward, I don't know what that was. That was just straight to one of their players. Haaland finds Bernardo Silva on the right, plays it back to Cancelo. Is he going to go for goal himself? He doesn't. Jack Grealish is there. His effort goes wide of Gelmi's post. I mean, we've got subs to make. We don't have enough subs to replace all of the poor performers. So Hefty and Vlap are coming on. It means Rafia moves to right wing. Vlap comes on as a shadow striker. Hefty obviously comes on in the left back position. We've still got three or two players. No, three players. Four players on a 6.3. Marvellous. And a 6.4 as well in the centre midfield. We've just not played well. It hasn't helped. We're playing Man City. Obviously very good at football. We all know this. And we haven't played well at all. Phil Foden to Robertson on the left hand side. 15 minutes left to play. Let's just try and keep the score down at this point. And it looks like we are going to keep the score down to maybe 3-1. It might it might be 4-1, guys. Uh, there is a highlight with a minute or so or two minutes left to play. Ruben Diaz is going to go for a run. Find Tete on the right. Haaland, he's been tripped by Figueiredo. That's the second yellow card for you as well. So we're down to 10 men. Do I know what I'm doing? No, I don't. But basically two central midfielders have dropped back to be halfbacks. Um, we've not got any subs to do, so I can't bring on another centre-back. And it's, it's going to be four, isn't it? Corner comes in. It's a good head clear from Michael Vlapp. Phil Foden collects it. We've got two minutes, 15 seconds left to play of injury time. Silver's ball forward. Haaland's there. And Erling Haaland puts the ball away. But he is going to get flagged for offside. But it doesn't matter because there's another highlight. Hold on. We've nicked the ball here. We're going to make it 3-2. It will 100% be a consolation goal. But if we can get ourselves a second, that's going to put a bit of confidence back in the players. We have just won ourselves a throw. We're now seeing some uh, goal line technology. There wasn't a highlight there, was there? We've lost 3-1 against Man City. And we we were fighting until half-time. And then they showed up. And they just, kind of, they just battered us, didn't they, in the second half? Now, the annoying thing is, from a team talk perspective, you can't be harsh on them. You don't, you're not expecting them to beat Man City. But from the fact that we had the lead... I kind of want to be harsh. I've just realised I said it was Pep's Man City as well. Um, turns out it's not. It's Klopp. He's moved from Liverpool to uh, to Man City. They, they're still good at football though. We've now moved into October. We are a few days away from our second Champions League group stage game against Benfica. We've played two league games and a cup game and we've won all of them. Winning 2-0 against Hong probably isn't how you pronounce it, and then beating Lusan 4-2 and St. Gallen 3-0. This one was huge, partially because Gilles scored twice against his former team, and also St. Gallen are top, and they haven't lost a game or hadn't lost a game all season until we turned up. We, by the way, still haven't lost a game, and we're sat second because we've drawn far too many. And in other news, Champions League-based news... Leipzig losing to Basel means we pick up more coefficient points for Switzerland, which is annoying because we lost our game, but the fact that Basel managed to win theirs means that Switzerland is progressing upwards through that table, which is what we need to do. Let's go forward and play Benfica, and also it looks like Basel will have played Villarreal as well. After Gilles performance against St Gallen, we have opted to play him as our lead striker today ahead of Han. We have got a few changes fitness related. We've also got some changes due to suspensions as well. But we've still got a pretty strong team. Also on the subs bench, we have, I think his name's Arthur Zagre, who has just returned from his injury that he picked up in pre-season. Annoyingly, he's not registered for the league, but he is registered for the Champions League for some reason which is actually the same as Nasberg. Nasberg can't play league games, but can play Champions League games. I don't understand. Nine minutes on the clock. Benfica have the ball. If we're going to win a game, this is the game to win. Although we are away from home. So if we're going to win a game, it's the home game, isn't it? That's the one we're after. We should be arguably trying to finish second in the group. That has to be our target. Second, third, sorry, in the group. Because then at least we stay in European competition. Sene's nicked the ball, and he's put that one into space. 
Also, Basel did lose their second group stage game in the Champions League. I think it was 2-1 or 3-1, something along those lines, but they scored a goal. So they are actually a lot more competitive than I thought they potentially would be. We also scored a goal against Man City, remember? 33 minutes and Benfica coming forward. They've got it in the area, they've crossed it in, and they put the ball in the back of the net. It's Darwin Nunez. He, do he doesn't play from anywhere, well, guys. You've cheated. Rafa now with a corner for Benfica, and Nunez again this time hits the top of the bar. We are not looking very good. The Champions League does not look like it's going to be our competition. Arguably, Europe doesn't look like it's going to be our competition this year. Half-time, it is 1-0 to Benfica. We have been pretty poor. Um, I want a much better performance. Those are words. Display, actually, is what it says. Um, looking at the match ratings, lots of people. 6-4s and 6-3s. 55 minutes, so 10 minutes into the second half. We did have the ball, and uh, we've just passed it straight to Benfica. It is Verissimo to Grimaldo, forward to Mario. Now Everton manages to get past his man with ease, keeps hold of it, plays it to Mario, forward to Everton, and his effort isn't very good, and it goes wide. Maybe we can equalise here. 59th minute, Herc with the ball. Going to go backwards, has to go backwards, does go backwards to Alan Aragoni. Back to Herc. Not really the best pass there, was it? Romagna. Came in into the centre-back position because of the suspension. It is Nasberg all the way back to our goalkeeper. What are we doing, guys? Gelmi finds Schmid on that left-hand side. Forward to Bernard. His pass is not the best. And now Otamendi can go all the way back to the goalkeeper. He's gone for a long kick over the halfway line. We need to win that head. And we don't. And this means it's a Benfica highlight, doesn't it? It's a Benfica highlight and potentially a Benfica goal. Regal intercepted by Schmid. But no, they've got the ball back. Weigel again, back to Otamendi. Darwin Nunez, now Mario, now Everton. Through ball, finds Nunez again. And Nunez blasts it into the back of the net. It's 2-0. Rafa with a free kick. Is it going to be three? Verissimo, edge of the area. Darwin Nunez on a hat-trick. Tries to find some space for himself. Doesn't need it. Finds Rafa, but Rafa is offside. Right, we need some changes. We've got too many. Just poor performance again. Schmid is coming off. We're going to see Arthur Zagre coming on for the first appearance in the Champions League. Montiel's coming off for Han, and we're going to do that swap around there. Do, I mean, what else do we do? We've got no Rafia because of his uh, fitness concerns. Aragoni's just injured constantly, but he's our best player, so I don't want to bring him off. Bernard for Tom van der Luy, which might actually be his debut. Aragoni with a throw for us. 20 minutes to play. Aragoni's managed to get that cross away. And why did Sene head that for goal? He had all the time in the world, could have controlled it, could have passed it, could have done anything, and he picked the worst option. Goncalves with the ball for Benfica. Ramos gets past Van der Luy, tries to get some space for himself, and his effort is saved by Gelmi for some reason. I think it was going wide. Rafa with a corner then, towards the back post. Van der Luy heads clear. Hopefully that's just going to end the highlight. That definitely should. Goncalves has given us a throw. Grimaldo with a corner for Benfica. We are just playing poorly. What is going on? I don't, I don't know. Has there been a patch since the last episode? I know, obviously, Benfica are a good team. But we've played against good teams and we've done well against good teams. We've just beaten St. Gallen 3-0, who are arguably currently the best team in Switzerland. Sene with the ball for us. We've got 10 minutes to try and find at least two goals. Zagre to Sene. Zagre's carrying on his run down that left-hand side, but Sene's cut inside. Van der Luy to Han. Through ball, finds Pusic. He's gone on the ground to Gilmano, and his effort is easily saved. Pusic is going to take this corner towards the six-yard box. It's come off hand. It's a, it's a free kick because Herc pushed somebody. Aragoni's throw find Gilamano back to Aragoni. First time cross Sene with a headed effort and it goes over the bar. We've had a lot of shots, but most of them have been rubbish. Four minutes of injury time and it is looking like it's a second defeat in the Champions League. And arguably this just puts our Champions League just it's irrelevant now. We've not been very good in both matches. Some of these performances, I mean, do we throw a water bottle? No, I don't like what I saw, and lots of people I'm going to have a little conversation with. I'm having individual chats with like 10 people at once, which arguably doesn't make it an individual chat, does it? So then, the Champions League is all but over, isn't it? At this point, we have got four more games left to play, and arguably I can see us winning one of them, which means that, and I think that's the Benfica game. And we've just lost 2-0 against Benfica. We are not going to beat Bayern. I think the Champions League is done. We will do the final two matches of the Champions League, which is probably going to be the same thing again. Benfica-Manchester City. Yes, it will. 
in between those episodes, though, a lot of league action to play. And they're the easier games for the most part. Schaffhausen, Lugano, Luzerne, arguably the easier winnable games. Basel and Savet is going to be tough. Young Boys, obviously, going to be tough as well. But yeah, I mean, I mean, we have to just focus on that. We're focusing on the league. This is the plan for the whole season anyway. Let's check the coefficients then. We are on a 6.9 for the season. So we are increasing it by three whole points, which means we move up to, I think, 11th place. If I look at that correctly, it is 11th place, which I think is where we were moving up to. Anyway, yes, it is. If we get here, 10th place is the target. 10th place means the league winners go straight into the Champions League. That's what we want. And then the next one is sixth place because then we get a team in the Europa League straight away. And actually, we get two teams straight in the Champions League as well. So there's a long way to go. And I think we are doing a good job this season. And by we, I mean Basel, to climbing up that coefficients table. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, do please remember to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you haven't watched it, there's 14 seasons of a Dover Athletic save as well. If you want to go back and watch all of those, it's a good one. I did enjoy that. And I'll see you in the next episode with the final two group stage games of the Champions League. And maybe we'll have some points by then. Who knows?